Recently, I've been watching a show called Person of Interest. And in this show, basically there is a machine that takes in tons of different information from all over the country and uses that information to detect national security threats. Now, this is a perfect example of artificial intelligence or AI. But the question is, could actuarial work be taken over completely by AI? Could it replace the actuarial career as we know it? That's what I'm answering in today's video. I'm Bria, an associate of the Society of Actuaries and leader of the Actuary Accelerator community. Now, first, let's think about what AI really is so that we're both on the same page. So according to Investopia, AI is a machine that simulates human behavior and mimics human actions. So this could mean that it does things like learn like a human can do. It might be able to problem solve like a human can do. So basically, by this definition, AI is really replacing a human. It is becoming a human. And since humans can do actuarial work, by deduction, that kind of means that AI could eventually take over actuarial work. Actually, there are areas of actuarial work where we've already started to implement things that are automated. So when I was working in an actuarial position, there were lots of things that were done automatically using computer programming. There's also been things done to automate the underwriting process for simple insurance products. Actuaries have also been working on predictive models, which are a form of AI, you could say. And other industries all over the world have started to replace repetitive human tasks with robots. And again, these are all examples of AI. By the way, while we're talking about programming, if you are someone that is excited to learn how to program or loves programming, give this video a thumbs up. That is me. I absolutely love programming. It was one of the favorite things I did in my actuarial position. Okay, so will AI take over actuarial work? Will it replace what we know right now as the actuarial career? Like I said earlier, right now, the majority of the tasks that are being taken over by robots and artificial intelligence are things that are repetitive. They're things that are done over and over and over and over again. Like you can kind of think of it as a factory where a machine is doing the same thing over and over. In the past, it used to be that humans would do that, but now they've been able to build robots that are able to do that. Actuarial work is not something that is repetitive. You're constantly thinking outside of the box. You're constantly applying your skills to different scenarios and different problems. You have to rely on actuarial principles. You have to rely on your past experience. You have to rely on math concepts and apply all those things to a large variety of different scenarios. So although I said that actuarial work could potentially be taken over by AI in the future, I don't think that's coming anytime soon. It's just such a complex career and it would be so difficult to automate the actuarial career. Actuarial work isn't stuff that's done by the average person. It's so complex. There are so many moving pieces. In our current world right now, there are insurance products that don't even exist yet that are going to have to exist in the future for things that haven't even been created yet. It's crazy to think about how much the actuarial career is going to change over time and the more insurance products that are going to be added to the possibilities. Again, with actuarial work, there's not always a right or wrong answer. It's kind of subjective. And it requires a lot of intuition to be able to make the right choices. But I will say if any part of actuarial work is eventually taken over, it will probably be the entry level positions. Usually those entry level positions are ones that are involved more in the weeds. They're involved with maybe the automation of different programs. They're involved with implementation. They don't tend to be involved very much in the big picture thinking. They're not involved with the strategy. They're not involved with the business planning. And those things are what is going to be even more difficult to automate with AI. So what's that mean for you? It means that if you're considering the actuarial career, now is the best time to start because by the time you get into actuarial work and start working in your entry-level job, we won't yet be at the place where entry-level positions are completely automated by AI or overtaken by AI, if that does even happen at all. Now let's think about a different question. Is it feasible for the actuarial career to be overtaken by computers or replaced by computers? Well, the insurance industry tends to be one that lags behind a little. We're not really on top of all the new technology that is coming out. So typically when insurance companies implement some new sort of technology, it's something that has been happening for years and years and years in other different industries. The insurance industry lags behind. So if you are starting your actuarial career, I think you can feel very safe that in the next 50 
50 years while you're going to still be working in an actuarial role, that it will not be overtaken by AI, again, if it ever is at all. And honestly, I don't believe with the current technology that we have that it would even be possible. The actuarial career is just way beyond what machines can do at this point. It would take years and years and years to create such a system. And then we have to think about some other questions too around feasibility. Like, will we trust this machine once it's created? There's going to be so much going into it and so many complex programming and everything like that, that it's going to be really difficult to actually trust this machine. Another thought, do we have enough data to actually support and create a machine like this? Would it financially be worth it? Maybe for insurance companies, this wouldn't even be an investment they want to make because it would just be so expensive that it wouldn't be worth the investment. It would probably be more financially feasible for insurance companies to just keep hiring humans to do actuarial work rather than spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars on creating an artificial intelligence that may or may not be able to take over actuarial work. And another question, do we even want such a machine to exist? I don't know the answers to these questions. And again, no one really does at this point. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Do you think that it's feasible for us to create AI that will take over actuarial work? Do you think we even want to create such a machine? Let me know down in the comments. I'm so interested to hear what your thoughts and insights are on this. Now, with all that being said, let's think about where it actually might be feasible in the coming years for AI to help in actuarial work. One thing I think it's going to help with is starting to detect more trends and patterns and being able to interpret data and collect huge amounts of data. AI is great for collecting data and interpreting it in large volumes that humans alone wouldn't be able to do. Every single day, data is being collected about you and everyone else all over the world. And as more and more and more data becomes available, I imagine that insurance companies are going to start using all that data to be able to better predict things like the probability that you'll get in a car accident or the probability that you'll get sick or get some sort of disease. The actuarial career is definitely going to change over the next 50 years and I think having all this data being collected is going to be a big part of it and we will definitely need AI in order to help us manage all that data, collect it, sort through it, and get insights from it. This might also lead to more personalized insurance products there are insurance products that are going to exist in the future that don't even exist now because we can't even think or imagine them right now in our heads, but they will exist. And that is what AI is probably going to be able to help us with most quickly in the next decade or so. So now let's talk about why this is an interesting question, but not one that you should really be worried about. If the actuarial career does get overtaken by AI, well, I know that there are going to be tons and tons and tons of other jobs that are going to see that exact same thing way before actuarial work is even feasible. So you won't be alone. You'll have many other people in the same boat as you. And the great thing is that as an actuary, you're going to have tons of transferable skills that you can use in other positions that will come up in the future as as AI becomes more relevant and starts taking over other jobs. I think the important lesson here is to not be scared. Don't let things that may happen in the future dictate what you do now. The actuarial career is a safe career. It has lots of opportunity for advancement. It is a very stable career and there is very little possibility that it will be completely taken over by AI in the next 50 years. So don't let this possibility change your whole career projection because it's likely that any career that you go in to will be taken over by AI before actuarial work. So if you are someone that has been delaying your actuarial career or putting it on the back burner or maybe trying to find something different because you were worried that actuarial work might be overtaken by AI, I hope this video has helped give you some insight into why that's not really feasible and probably not going to happen in the next 50 years. You can feel totally safe pursuing the actuarial career right now. I have no doubt about it. But if you are in that situation, you might be feeling like you're a little bit behind right now feeling like maybe you should have started earlier. Well, if that's the case, not a problem. I recorded a video just a few weeks ago all about how to speed up your actuarial journey. So go watch that video. I will link it up above and down below in the description and that will give you a really good understanding of exactly what you can do to get into an actuarial position as quickly as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.